I want to talk about something really cool today. As a producer, if you are listening to music from Flume, Fred again, Adessa, Lapalux, Monty Booker, you know his older stuff, Louis the Child for example, and so on and so forth, and I'm specifically mentioning these guys because to me they all have one thing in common, and that one thing is the sounds that they are using in their music production. I'm talking about those lush, textured, organic pads, you know, a lot of kind of grains and noises and crackles that you kind of feel like were recorded somewhere in the woods or on the street with the audio recorder. Me myself I'm a big fan of this type of sound design and if you are as well and you want to learn about how to create these type of sounds or where to look for them or how to implement these sounds afterwards in your own production I might have a solution for all your problems today. So I stumbled across this Instagram ad the other day from this company called the Phono Loop and they were promoting this new VST synth slash kind of contact library which is called Tape01 and at some point I've seen this ad for days now for some reason Instagram would just keep showing showing it to me so eventually I clicked on it and I checked it out and to be honest with you the design was looking really good and the preview sounded really well too and I only have this synth for a couple days now so I've barely scratched the surface in terms of capabilities that this synth has to offer but so far I can tell you that for me it's a game changer it's a really powerful tool you can do so many things with it you can explore sound design you can create these crazy organic textured loop packs and then sell them on your website for example and you can obviously use it in your own production on a daily basis in so many Many ways. I could literally talk about this synth for hours but I don't want this video to be two hours long. I will leave a couple links down below though for those of you guys who want to learn more about this plugin. There is a lot of useful information within those links so feel free to check them out. But what I really want to do right now is to open Ableton Live, load up tape 01, maybe browse some presets and let's see if we can actually make something cool. And to be honest with you I already kind of have an idea in the direction that I want to go to. I think I want to make something flume-ish. So in my head I heard this very lush textured pad that I really wanted to use for this beat and since I'm already a bit familiar with the synth because I checked out some of the presets of camera so I chose this preset called Chom09 you can find it under moments I really like how it sounds it's really lush and it has a lot of this organic texture to it so I played in just one chord and then I took the same chord and I sent it down five semitones so from D sharp minor we went to A sharp minor. So now when we have the pad and a couple chords what I want to do is I want to record this pad into the audio file and then I kind of want to chop up the audio file in some places so that it stutters a bit. And I really like to do this type of effect sometimes, just to kind of chop out the small pieces of the audio from the long version of the audio, I hope it makes sense. So now I want to add the 808 underneath of our chords and actually within the tape 01 you can find a couple really nice 808s and I'm actually using this one called 80801, simple as that, I'm using the very first 808 that I found. Now I think we can add some drums just to kind of get some rhythm going for all of this to make more sense. I think I will just add a kick and snare for the moment. Uh, so far so good, I really like how it sounds, I tried to select the drum sounds that are really flume-ish if you will, if you know flume style. I will do the hi-hat now and then I will get back to you, okay? Uh, so yeah, I came up with this kind of glitchy hi-hat pattern and I think it sounds really cool It kind of fits the vibe that I'm going for I think I'm gonna add a couple more drum sounds and then I want to do a couple more layers from the tapes one Maybe we can add a couple more pads and stuff like that Very kind of glitchy flume style hi-hat patterns, okay all the drum loop together would sound like this
So I was browsing through the presets and I found this really cool sound. It's called Granules 04. You can find it under keys. I kind of feel like that I still want to add another layer on top of those two pads that we already have. So let me find one more sound and then I will show you how everything sounds together, okay? Uh, so just to finish things off, I chose this Dry Scanner 20 preset that you can find under tape loops. It's just right here. And I was actually using the mod wheel this time to modulate the sound so it would change over time and it sounds pretty cool. It's a really weird sound to be honest and you can barely hear it, it's very much in the background but it adds a lot of movement to the beat, that's why I like it, okay? So the one last thing that I wanna do is maybe to add a vocal sample from Excel or from Arcade, something like that just to kinda make things come a bit more alive and to be honest there is one thing that I would like to highlight for the creators of Tape 01. I really love the synth, I really love the presets and the design, it's really easy to use. I just wish you would guys have a section with like a vocal chops or something like that, maybe you can guys do an expansion back or something like that that would be really cool but since we don't have them in the synth for the moment i'm just gonna use excel from contact okay And there you have it guys, we made a really cool kind of flume inspired type beat using Tape 01. We did it really fast and it was really efficient to work with this synth and I had a lot of fun. I want to say thank you to the guys at the Phono Loop for sending me the copy in order for me to do the video about this synth. It was not really a sponsored video but they did send a copy of this plugin to me for free which I am really thankful for. If you want to learn more about this plugin, the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, consider subscribing if you had fun. My name is Almost Famous. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.